All right, back in the load screen here. We got some unranked scrub from Axiom versus this Grand Master Terran player from Acer. What chance is gonna happen in this game? All right, this is a best of nine between these two teams. Acer versus Axiom. It is currently 1-1. And Hart, as far as bets on our channel are concerned, is up one on a win streak. So we'll see if he can take it to two or if innovation will stop this early. For now, though, spawning the top right corner of the map from Axiom Esports, the Blue Terran, Hart. The top left as the red Terran, it is innovation. Innovation. Innovation? <laughs> but I hardly know her. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I, because, you know, whatever, I was like, shut up. All right, so this is going to be a TVT. <laughs> now, it's worth knowing, I think these guys are on pretty friendly terms. They had some really funny uh, quote-unquote smack talk in the lobby between the two of them, something you don't get to see too often. But, you know, Hurts, I, I haven't actually seen Hart play a TVT in gosh knows how long because he's always getting faced up versus Zergs and Protosses. But I can't remember the last time I saw him go up against another, like, heavy-hitting Terran. Bomber. Lone Star Clash, I believe, he faced Bomber, and he got kind of wrecked. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't get to see that, sadly. Well, yeah, good, because I'm sure Hart would not want you to see that. Oh, hey, I mean, just a side note, uh, we just got a $5 donation. Uh, I'm going to split that between us both, but thank you, Alaska oh, Winter 923 for being awesome. Cool. Really uh, but seriously, <clears throat> Hart, I mean, his TVT didn't look like... It just... It wasn't like, I don't think it was like macro or anything like that. It was just, you know, really like getting himself in like bad positions. You know, Bomber would always have the, you know, correct time to to mass doom drop and Hart couldn't do anything about it, stuff like that. Um, but, you know, him for him and Innovation probably play each other a lot. I would imagine or they had played each other a lot. So it could be a lot different than Hart versus Bomber. Well, I think in that same token, too, let's not forget, like, this isn't something weird where you're playing from Korea to North America or anything that could influence this in the slightest. It's Korea versus Korea. It's about as comfortable as it's going to get. And uh, like you said, Innovation spent a long time at the Axiom team house. I don't, I wouldn't for a second stop to think, like, yeah, they've probably talked about strategy. They've probably theorized what's good and what's not. I mean, again, I don't know what really happens in the team house, but I got to imagine the small talk over there is like, so, uh, you playing good TVTs lately? Oh yeah, and here's how it went. Like, you know, it's, I doubt it's exactly about like local sports teams or what's going on in Africa or a war or something, but probably just TBT <laughs> strategies, TVZ strategies, whatever the case may be. I'd imagine they talked a little bit for sure. Now, innovation feels rather confident, actually going for a low ground CC. I mean, you usually see it on the high ground at the very least if they get one at all before a starport. Yeah, and it's actually really interesting seeing this come out early. Now, we've also got what is a less common but very important push coming here. One SCV, one Marina, one Reaper. This can snowball out of control very quickly for players unprepared, and unfortunately, Hart a little unprepared for this. Luckily, he didn't use his factory to get any ad type of add-on, so a Hellion will be popping out to save the day. I suppose about five SCVs into this is a pretty appropriate amount. I'm uh, gonna lose a little bit himself, and then you want to get some for getting first blood this game. First blood. Let's just pop that baby off real quick. But he cleans up the marine, he cleans up the SCV. But as far as units loss goes, I mean, it's not a crazy dynamic trade, but look at that. It's three SCVs dead for one, and one marine dead for one. Not a bad trade for innovation to start this off. And again, this is something that, if not handled correctly, can snowball pretty quickly. Well, let's look at what Hart is doing compared to Innovation, though. Well, Innovation did get a few SEV kills. He has to now take care of two bases against this Cloak Banshee that Hart is getting, and he doesn't have a starport yet. So this Banshee is going to arrive. The Viking still going to be produced, or Raven, depending which one he gets first. So what does he, uh, what does he have? He's in Bay, Bay, just barely. You know, I, I know it's last season and last year for context, but I totally forgot until just now. Innovation? He's a really good player, and anyone who argues that is probably an informed and foolish, but last season in the ATC, his TVT was probably like one of his worst matchups where he was constantly losing to things like Cloak Banshee. And his well, own Cloak TVT. Banshee's never got anything done. I, re I remember this actually specifically because I'm like, how does Innovation of all people never do damage with his own Cloak Banshees? TVT was always Innovation's weakness, but he fixed it, so I, I don't know how relevant yeah. that information is anymore. He fixed it around the time that, like, you know, Axiom Acer won GSTL. I believe that was actually a TBT, but... Ooh, that hell ain't barely getting out of there alive. <laughs> Hart did have to take a little detour with that Banshee, so he didn't get there as fast as possible. And as such, the all the turrets are done. He actually got three turrets. One uh, one at each mineral line and one to cover his uh, production. So he's perfectly defended. 
It does leave the add-ons exposed if you want to really get in here, but uh, it looks like he's going to disengage due to the Viking, sadly. Yeah, did he cancel Cloak? Uh, I mean, Cloak, again, doesn't cost as much as it used to, so getting it and only getting one Banshee and it not doing anything, it still sucks, I, <laughs> but I, not as much an investment. Well, I mean, you, we've talked about it before. The late game Cloak Banshee is never a bad thing either. Like, you might not get used from it right now, but later on, picking off a siege tank, the siege outside your base, uh, trying to get better positioning. These are all things that are afforded to you later, but not if you lose that Banshee. It's potential. Yeah. Question right now, I suppose, is is either player going to be going for mech? Now, Hart could fo could have followed up with the push, uh, you know, with tanks and marines, just to take advantage of the fact that innovation would not have any of that, but he doesn't. You know, that's actually that is a good point though, because uh, mech is something that's becoming more and more popular in TVT, and while it's got a lot of advantages, one of its biggest cons on habitation station of all maps, especially, is the drop potential. I mean, if you, as a mech player, have your whole army in the middle of the map, your tanks are seized around this watchtower, but you get doom dropped at home, you're, you're just going to bleed out to that. Once your production's compromised, regardless of what, what type of Terran player you are, but once your production's compromised, there's almost no coming back from that. Terran players seem to favor mech more and more, though. Yeah, it, wow. it's becoming, I think, I think part of the popularity with it, too, is the fact that you're going to be able to produce siege tanks, whereas with bio, you've only really got one tank producing at a time. Plus, with the uh, whole transformation servos coming in, hey, yeah, that'll go mech now. That'll be cool once that uh, if that actually comes into effect. But yeah, double factors out of innovation, so we're gonna see mech out of at least him. And the big thing was Heart Scouts this, so for him, it's really not difficult to say, you know what, I'm gonna go bio. I'm gonna try and outproduce you, and we'll see if we can end this game earlier than 40 minutes. Unfortunately, his build did not really set him up for a good start in this game. Definitely recoverable, but. You know, innovation is the one feeling pretty nice right now. You can be in the defensive and feel perfectly fine. Hart probably feels a little more inclined to be, you know, do something about the fact that innovation had that faster command center and had this uh, SCV lead. I mean, it's at 10 right now. It's pretty big. You know, uh, this is one of the most annoying problems with Mech is the fact that you're, you're again, your production is a little bit slow. But innovation is also... banshee. Jesus. Back at home, Hart is losing so many SCVs. Oh wow, I didn't even catch him make a Banshee coming across the map. Close, he's gonna get about seven kills so far. Not gonna stop anytime soon, but Siege Tanks are in range of the mineral line. And there's no way for Innovation to really comfortably engage this. He can try and send the aliens in, but there's a lot of Marines to help buffer for this as well. And let's not forget the Raven can throw down more on top of this. Command Center's getting a little bit low, but he starts to repair it. Marine's gonna duck forward here very boldly. But both players killing a ton of SCVs while this is going on. Hart is just oh bleeding God. out fast. Oh, that counter banshee can be so powerful. All right, oh, that's, two, that's... two secret missiles coming down. He needs to move his marines. Hurt. All right, he tries. He gets one out alive, but still tanks on the front line are not going to be easy to deal with. If he can tear down the command center, he's going to feel a little bit better about the losses he took at home. But his SCV count has fallen pretty hard. Mm. Air control definitely in the favor of innovation as well. So siege tanks are, gonna get, are not going to get the free reign to uh, to really hurt him. That's hearts. Hmm? Heart has the air control right now. Oh, sorry, that's the innovation I meant to say Heart. I was looking, I was looking at the, uh, the Raven Vikings. Either way, uh, the Hellion's trying to break this, but it's just barely not enough by the looks of it. But with that Siege Tank sieging up behind this, looking a little bit better for innovation. However, it does fall, and there's still one on the high ground, so it limits where Heart can go, but this command center, it, it can't lift. If it does, the Vikings kill it. If it stays on the ground, the Siege Tanks kill it. Oh, the, well, he had a Raven anyways. <laughs> yeah, A for effort with the Banshee, but... Uh, this is looking pretty rough for innovation. Again, the Siege Tank tries to siege up, but Hart's got the advantage here. We even have the auto turret go down to distract for one hit, and that's all you need. There's no mining going on in this base. Back at home, Hart has recovered. He's uh, He didn't build a ton of SCVs behind this, mind you, but he's still playing off of the low production. This is kind of something I think he's really aiming to end the game with, and that meant to be a massive recovery from it. But the, I think innovation's last tank goes down. GG! Oh my god, Hart! It's going to disappoint so many people because Zombie Grub, everybody uh, bet on Heart lasting one game versus Innovation. I didn't bet that. Well, no, I'm saying everybody else did. There's like almost 1,500 bets on that and like less than 100 on the rest. Oh, boy. All right, so Heart, he gets a he gets a victory, but also puts his team up now 2-1. to one. So leading is Axiom. Oh, boy. Uh, it, you know, it's hard. Like, I got to say, like, I think... I think you gotta send a Zerg versus Heart, not a, not a Terran. If he can take it down Innovation, MMA, who's really freaking good, still, I'd be a little bit worried for. 